Okay, I'll just go on with the ring. Finding Dory is the newest installment in the Pixar movies, whatever, and it's a story about Dory, a forgettable fish who remembers the pieces of her past, and is set out on an adventure with Marlin and Nemo to find her family, while with other help, Hope gets into an, herself into an aquarium. Have to look from there on. Now, let's just say this: this is not my most anticipated film of this year. Not because it's animated. I don't. I am excited. I get excited for animated film. It's just that I'm also really skeptical about this. I adored the first Finding Nemo. This was one of my childhood movies. Not my favorite animated film, it still goes to Wally, -E, but this is the movie I watched a lot as a kid. I remember watching this with my family for the first time. It was a great movie, and I still think today it is a great movie. So I was really scared to go into this movie, despite rather critical claim. Sometimes you can hate a critical play movie, you can have your own opinion. So, what did I find in this movie? Is it any good? Well, there are a time it lost a little bit of some realistic animation that the first movie had. Sure did the animation is great, I can every Pixar movie, but I just want a little bit more realism. There is a few more, there is a few bit of realistic shots, including with the ocean, but it didn't feel that realistic. That's it. The rest of this movie, I pretty much love. This is a fast paced, well acted, well animated, well written kids movie. This is a great sequel to the first Finding Nemo. And another thing that I miss is that while it's not important, even for this kind of movie, I still wanted there to be a bit more, well, heart to it. A bit more, I, I just don't know, a bit more breakdown, a little more, yeah. There's stuff like that. The first movie is it just says about this first movie that made it special. Well, in it, and I think that what this movie kind of lacked. Maybe because of the realistic going away. Realistic stuff going away. But, aside from that, I love this movie. Let's talk about the characters. Dory. Is she an annoying fish? I think in the first movie, she is not. She is very good to handle her own mood. Unlike the minions from last year, where I found that they cannot handle a movie on their own, and we we'll might review minions later. Not right now, but maybe some other time. 
but Dory, she was able to handle her own movie well. Marlon and Dino, what do you think? They're going to be great in this movie, and sure enough, they were. The new cast, how are the new cast? Well, the octopus, um, Destiny, and the blue girl, well, they were all great. I wanted to see it more than them. Even the scene that they have, even though they have certain scenes that they have to be in only, I just want to see more of them because they were so entertaining. I understand why they are not in too much of the movie, but I just want to see more. It's not a problem. Just the characters are, the new characters are great. I give them welcome. And the Dewey's parents, I'm not going to spoil anything, no spoiler, but they're great in the movie. Um, the animation, like in every Pixar film, the animation is extremely beautiful. As I said before, it lacks some realism that the first movie had, the way it looks, but there's one shot in the movie where they show, this is not a spoiler, a ship, it looks so realistic under the water. Pixar, great job, and the movie does have a lot of heart to it, kind of like what the first movie had, not as much as it should have, I felt like, but there was enough heart in it to me, for me to care about these characters, and another thing that I find this is better than the first, that's more funny, and it is more fast paced. Once you're on the adventure, it is non-stop. You're in it for the ride. Everywhere a character is going is so, it's so beautifully animated, you feel like you're in the environment. Hank, in the movie, I cannot dress enough, such a great character. I, he was in a lot of the movie, and I still want to see more of him. Ah. <sighs> What else is there to say about Finding Dory? It is not a perfect movie. No movie is perfect. It is not one of my favorite movies of all time. But I strongly suggest you watch this movie. This was like a childhood, a childhood reunion to me. I loved it and I'm fulfilled. I'm going to give Finding Dory an A. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to review my Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man's Chest movie tomorrow. And I'll see if I can get that up as soon as I can. And then after that, I'll be reviewing Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time.